How's it going, guys? It's Poet Chisada, and welcome back to another episode of the uh, Isolationist Japan campaign. I think, um, just as a heads up, that this will probably be the last episode. I think it's about time to uh, wrap up this series, and I will tell you why. Well, there's a couple reasons why. For one, I really wanted to try out the new patch and see what they've added to Hungary in particular. Um, beyond that, I think we've kind of gotten to a good stopping point, you know? Like, we... We don't own literally everything yet, but, like, we own, uh, we own most of, like, you know, the Oceanian islands and, and, you know, Indonesia and the Philippines and stuff. Um, we own all of Japan, obviously. We own all of Korea, um, and we also own Beijing. So I think this is going to be the last episode, and we're mostly just going to be hanging out this episode talking about, you know, as I like to do with the last episode in any series, I like to talk about sort of what was happening uh, throughout the series, what I enjoyed, and stuff like that. So, anywho, I hope you guys, I hope you guys understand why I'm deciding to wrap this up now. Um, I really do think it's it's a uh, a good stopping point, though, and I don't think I have too much more that we sh that we absolutely need to get out of this campaign. Um, but yeah, so. I don't know. I mean, like, that, obviously, we we could do more. We could conquer probably all of China by the rest of the game. Um, but it's, uh, I think it's much less important now that we already own this. Like, we everyone knows we can do it. It's more a matter of, like, does it really matter, you know? Um, I, I don't normally like playing games all until you get to uh, the end of the game, you know, the end date. I don't really play that far, and the reason is that I, uh, I don't know, you just, you get too powerful after a while. But luckily, uh, well, I don't know, sometimes I do enjoy it, though, so I guess it kind of depends, but in any case, hmm, I do hope you guys understand that, um, and we're gonna talk about some of the stuff that I liked about this campaign, and, and, uh, about Mandate of Heaven in general, I think, while we're, while we're still here doing this last episode, and there will, of course, be a new series starting in the next couple of days... Um, where we're going to be playing probably as Hungary and stuff. But, uh, actually, that reminds me. I do have a, um, a lot of Rebels. Jeez. I do have a, a straw poll up, um, in a recent announcement video. So if you go look for that, you can help vote on what series you think I should do next. Uh, but I'm kind of decided on Hungary, I think. I'm mostly, like, pretty sure I want to do that. Um, but yeah, so... I don't know. I think we've gotten, once you get to like the year 1700, you kind of figure out what's going on. And the fact that we already are the Emperor of China and we own Beijing now really kind of solidifies in my head that the idea that we don't really need to prove our worth at this point. I think we uh, pretty much have already done so. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. But in any case, um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this campaign. I've actually really enjoyed um, the Main Native Heaven expansion in general. I think it's been a, a pretty, uh, oh my god, I'm just going on speed four, and so then I, oh my god, I'm an idiot. I just burned, like, I just burned so much manpower, and I, oh god, I don't want to talk about this. I just burned, like, a ridiculous amount of manpower in three battles in a row, and now they're attacking me here? You gotta be kidding me, hold on, no, no, no. Are you shitting me? Excuse the language, but what in the world? How are they doing that? That is actual BS. Yo, I'm actually furious. How did they catch me? Why were they moving that way instead of going to the next province over to siege it? Like they normally do, you know? That's BS. Okay, you know, I'm gonna murder you rebels if it's the last thing I do. Um... But yeah, so, I don't know, I really enjoyed the Mandate of Heaven. I think that, I've talked about this in the past, but like, the expansions that I like the most in EU4 are the ones that are actually um, focused on a specific part of the world, on a specific culture group or something, on a specific religion. I really like stuff like that, because I, I find that when Paradox does that, all the options that they add in those expansions are more closely they're more deeply developed they have more depth they also seem to for the most part be sort of um most of the time it seems to me that they are uh 
they're more interactive too like they interact with each other more and stuff and i i think that this has also been the case in this one why are there so many rebels yo why are there so many rebels though i'm actually annoyed by the fact that we have so many rebels like why are there so many freaking rebels i don't understand bruno all right you know what oh our empire is having some issues here at the end huh I don't care. I don't want any more rebels. I don't want any more trouble out of you. Okay. That's okay. Again, we're not playing anymore anyways. But, yeah. So, I've, uh... I have had a, uh, a good time playing this. Um, I do think there are some balance issues that are going to need to be done uh, for for Ming and stuff. I know they're working on that. But, even after, like, the Hungry patch um, that addressed some of those issues, I think there's still some stuff that makes Ming a little too powerful. And that's another reason that we're ending this series now, actually, is because, like, beyond the fact that we just kind of hit a point where we're pretty powerful and we're not too worried about anything, um, I also, I want to get back into some, like, achievement run sort of stuff, um, which I haven't done in a while on the channel, actually. I've been doing more, like, freeform sort of, uh, make my own goal stuff, which is really nice. I actually like that more than, I, I would say in most cases, I like that more, um, than sort of, like, achievement driven stuff but i also do sometimes enjoy having a more concrete goal set for me oh my god they're going there that's you know, that's pissing me off all right these guys are actually actually pissing me off an insane amount hold on i am so pissed all right hold on you're on the 5th of november i can't make it there gosh darn it oh oh no they're attacking me i right, attack me that's fine Freaking jerks. Die. Zero manpower. Nice. Okay. Hmm. That's just lovely. Let's go ahead and get you to come down here, and then we'll transport you to Brunei. Let's get you to come over here. But yeah, so I, I don't know. I've really liked uh, playing as Japan. I don't really play in this part of the world either, so it was just kind of nice getting something new. Um... The, the Japanese feudal system with the shogunate that starts, you know, what, what they start with, I really like that. It's, uh, it's very unique, and it is, I never played, but, yeah, I never played it before it was reworked, but I have enjoyed it this time, too. Shinto mechanics are cool. The isolation and stuff, it's not like, it doesn't seem like it's too, you know, um, I don't know, too influential or, like, it's not going to make that much of a difference, necessarily, but... It is also kind of cool um, how you get different bonuses based on how you carry your country in terms of isolationism. Um, and each I, one thing I like about that is that the crises, sometimes they have negative sort of uh, stuff that happens from it. But beyond that, that's all positive. You get um, only bonuses. It's just different bonuses for each. So it's like, what do you want to get? Do you want to get this bonus or this bonus? And I really like that. Um, I, I have yeah I've I've liked this this campaign so far well I mean the whole time uh, and I'm glad we did it. Um, oh, the Netherlands and the Ottomans are fighting over what? Oh my God! What is that war? Ottoman Austrian imperialist war. Let's take a look at Europe. So Russia is a behemoth that has existed for a long time actually because. You know, I remember looking over and seeing that they were in India and being like, what the fudge? And I'm still a little bit shocked, actually. Also, doesn't, isn't, no, it's Manipur, not Jeanpur, that starts as uh, Animist. Um, and look at that. Look at Ceylon, man. That's that's pretty admirable. Um, so Russia's pretty big, but they haven't really gone east that far. Um... The Teutons are actually alive and basically are, they're basically Poland now. The Teutons are basically Poland. That's, uh, that's actually quite funny. Um, Bohemia has eaten most of, or a good chunk of Hungary, and so has Serbia. They migrated, as they are wont to do. Austria has migrated south a little bit. Yeah, we'll do that. France is gone buck wild but you know that's kind of what you expect scandinavia was formed um which is a little surprising 
Lubeck owns some land. Brandenburg is like looking kind of like Prussia. That's pretty interesting. Netherlands exists and is about historical Netherlands size, kind of. Um, but uh, yeah, Persia has moved into Arabia, Arabia quite a bit. Not much else. Let's look at the colonies. So Brazil is Portuguese Brazil. Okay, so that's normal. And then there's Castilla and La Plata. Um, and then Inca is... They have a vassal. They're not actually under anyone, so that's cool. British Columbia. Um, Haida, California. What? Haida. Haida. Haida? Haida, California? Did... Who is that? Is that like a tribe or something up there and they conquered stuff? Also, the United States does exist with like Florida and part of Georgia, so that's pretty good. And they're also Dutch. Cool. Scotland... Oh my god, Scotland actually moved to the east coast of the US. They're in exile. That's actually hilarious. Canada exists. We'll see Canada. Norwegian Canada, of course. That's quite funny, actually. But yeah, nothing too abnormal behind, beyond that. The British actually did reach Australia, yes, so that's cool. Uh, gosh darn it. A crusade against Ming. I guess I'll have to join. I'm not actually going to do anything to help. In fact, I think I'm just going to go and hide in the mountains. But but yeah, this was... Uh, I will say, this was quite the campaign. And now uh, we even went to war with that. Yeah, we even went to war with and beat the Ottomans at one point. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. So we uh, had to have been doing something right. But yeah, so I've been uh, I've been enjoying this campaign. Um, I do. I have really appreciated the support. By the way, there's been a lot of people supporting um, the series and stuff, and on in the channel in general recently. So it's very much appreciated. Um, I just want to, you know, say thanks for that. It's it's very, uh, very cool. Also, though, yeah, be, you know, be sure to, like, tell me if you have suggestions for other campaigns that you want me to do in the future. Um, also, we have the Absolutist Italy one. If you're curious, that one will be continuing quite a while longer. I'm not sure exactly how long, but we're going to... Oh, no, a Regen Regency. Uh, but we're going to be doing that one quite a way quite a while longer. We're just going to have to be doing that in the old patch while we'll also have a series in the new patch. But um, don't worry about that. i got to figure it out. In any case, I do want you guys to like go and vote on the straw poll. I'll try to remember to put it in the description of this video, but I'll probably forget. But there's a recent announcement video on the channel that has the po two polls, actually. But one of the polls is, like, what achievement do you want me to see next? I'm probably going to start recording this, like, the day you're seeing this. So if you go vote real quick, it might sway me in terms of which, uh, in terms of which, which achievement I go for next. Right now, we've had actually a few close votes, uh, or we've had a close poll, um, pretty much a, uh, it's been swaying back and forth. At first, people wanted to see, uh, oh god, I don't remember. Let's see, what was the first one? That one? Uh, Switzer Lake. That was one of the options. People were like, hey, we want to see, uh, Switzer Lake. Um, and I was like, okay, that sounds good to me. Then it switched to being Sweden is overpowered. And uh, and that was on the top of the polls for a little bit. And then it switched to being... Um, and then it switched to being... Um, uh, and well, so then it switched to being Take That Von Habsburgs, which is the one as Hungary that I was going to do anyways, because I kind of want to play as Hungary in the Hungary patch, you know, to kind of figure out what the new patch adds. Uh, which I still do want to do at some point, but I just wasn't sure if I was going to do that now or not. So, you know, voting really does help me decide which of those I want to actually go ahead and uh, and do. Do I want to go ahead and go with the, the Hungary campaign right away? Or would I rather do the uh, the Sweden is overpowered uh, campaign? Or would I do the, you know, Switzerland campaign? All those are fun ones that have a little bit of challenge in their own way, but are also not too bad. Um, and are also nations that are have new stuff that I haven't played, at least with Hungary and stuff. But in any case, there's you know there's a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of options there. So please go vote. I really again I'll be recording this like later today from when you're seeing this. So the sooner you can vote on that, the better. Um, get the last votes in and stuff. But I don't know. I think 
that's mostly what I wanted to talk about this video. Um, like I said, you know, I'm sorry if you did want to see us play out the whole thing, but it's normally not my style, not on YouTube at least. On my own time, sometimes I will, but on YouTube it's just, it takes so much longer the later you go in the game. It gets much more tedious and stuff, but in a good way. It's like tedious in that it's like, you have a lot of stuff to do, a lot of more wars that you can handle, which is really fun, honestly, and I actually really like that in general about you 4 but it doesn't necessarily translate to the best uh, sort of series. Um, so unless you're going for something like World Conquest or stuff, you know, like that. Um, speaking of that, I do want to do an Ottoman's World Conquest at some point in time. Because I've never done a World Conquest before, so it could be fun. Uh, I don't know, though. I do think for the next little while we're going to be doing medium tier achievement runs and stuff. Like hard ones that aren't too hard or medium difficulty achievements. Um, we're going to be doing some of those just so that we uh, can knock out a few of those on camera. Also, it gives us like a def definitive endpoint so that it's not just like this where I'm just ending it whenever I feel like it. Um, so that way you guys know when it's going to be over. It's going to be over when we get the achievement or maybe a little after depending on if there's other achievements we can get. Um, that's it, and that's like, you know, that's what I kind of want to do a little more of. Also, I think it draws people in more. People get more interested because it's like, this is an, like, the achievements are more well known. It's like the achievements is, this is something that people know about and can relate to, because it's like, um, you know, it's, it's like, uh, how is this person going to handle this specific achievement that is fairly well known? Like, take that Von Habsburg, it's a fairly well known achievement, you know, reversing the hungry Austria situation. So, anyways. I am excited to try that out. Well, I don't know. I think we'll probably just go ahead and wrap this up here. Again, I haven't even been focusing on this war right here. But, um, yeah. I mean, I again, you may say, why are you ending it now? Well, it's just because I don't really think there's any need to go too much further. Um, you know. But in the future, I do want to play as Japan again, actually, sometime. Um, I want to try to do a full colonial game, though. So I do want to do that. Where did the Enlightenment go? That's actually what I'm going to look at real quick. Frankfurt, okay. Interesting. Um, but yeah, in any case, I think that's going to do it for this series. So thank you guys for watching. Please go and leave a like and subscribe for more if you haven't already. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I, I do want to come back to Japan at some point. Maybe we'll do it on stream or something. Um, and I'm not done with the Mandate of Heaven Affected Countries. I do want to do like a Tibet run at some point, but I might do that on my own time as well or on stream. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff I want to do. But in any case, I'm going to work on that. We'll figure something out. Go vote on that poll if you can find it. And I will see you guys in the next episode of whatever new series I do, as well as the Absolutist Italy campaign, uh, which is still going to be going. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.